People in many Chinese cities are used to bad air, but the smog in some areas right now is much worse than normal. As Andrew Lee reports from Beijing, it has passed the danger level. The air quality has been bad even by Chinese standards in many cities in northern China over the past few days. A cold snap triggered the government to turn on its coal-fired heating plants that warm the cities. That decision in combination with the usual bad air ingredients, cars, coal-powered electrical plants and heavy industry, has created a toxic fog. The poor air closed schools. And there was a dramatic increase in people being admitted to hospital with respiratory ailments. A number of flights were cancelled, some highways were closed, and trains were delayed. Now, bear with me as I explain just some details on how air quality is measured and why. Now, the measurement for bad smog is based on how many particulates are in the air that are 2.5 microns in size. The most lethal type of particulate because it can enter the bloodstream through the lungs. Now, the World Health Organization recommends that there be 25 or less parts per cubic meter. Parts of the city of Harbing measured over 1,000. Now, to put that in perspective, the air I'm breathing in Beijing right now is deemed uh, very unhealthy on that same scale. Harbin's air was five times as worse. A study released earlier this year spoke to the long-term effects of this type of air pollution. It showed uh, people who live in northern China where bad air and cool heating is predominant live an average of five years less than their compatriots in southern China. Now some short-term relief is on the way as the weather is creating some air movement which is pushing away the smog in some cities. Andrew Lee, CBC News, Beijing.